voters really think about the Constitution as different than regular laws. They think of the Constitution sort of the way they think about the U.S. Constitution, a bare-bones framework for government and not something that a lot of special, special interest laws ought to be included in. And so that was really the message that the opponents of those measures uh, put out there in their small amount of advertising and in the news media and that really seemed to resonate with voters that the Constitution just is really not the place for these laws. Certainly in the case of the bridge, uh, there have been many attempts to do all sorts of things, trying to block laws in the legislature and push laws and the governor has taken steps and so on. So there's really not an easy solution, but it's pretty clear that end running the legislative process and trying to go directly to the voters was not a successful strategy this time around. Um, about $150 million was spent in total um, on all sides for the six measures that were on the ballot. Now the measure for which the most was spent by a single side was Proposal 6, which was the bridge proposal in which the proponents spent over $33 million to try to pass the measure. Of course it failed. The emergency manager law was actually a referendum on a uh, measure that the legislature passed several years ago giving the governor's office and his team powers to replace the uh, elected government in a city to help uh, solve their budget crisis, to help balance their budget and reduce some of their costs. The opponents really framed this as um, sort of a power grab by the governor and folks in the governor's office uh, to sort of take over city government. The supporters really framed it as uh, uh, an endorsement of Governor Snyder, and so I think the in the voters' minds it really came down to just that. There were certainly uh, in the in the media um, discussions about how many measures there were, and all these special interests trying to put more stuff in the Constitution. So certainly the information was out there, the message was out there to voters that this this is just too much, and given that none of the constitutional amendments passed, uh, it appears that maybe there were.